Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. Today I wanted to show you some rubber dummies that I got recently that have really transformed how I train. You guys know that I enjoy shooting steel, but the one shortcoming of steel is that when you really get close to steel, which I do, uh, you are, not you might, you are going to capture pieces of bullet spall. What I really enjoy about these dummies is that they're, they're so rugged, you can hit them, you can elbow them, you can punch them, although don't punch them very hard because they're really dense and they'll hurt your hand. To reface these guys, all you've got to do is spray them down and wait just a few minutes. I asked the owner of the company why primer as opposed to spray paint, and the answer was obvious, but I wanted to make sure that there wasn't something else to it. Paint will work as well. Paint doesn't dry as fast as primer does, nor does it go on as thick as primer does, so that's why primer. But what I like about these targets is I can get really close to them and you don't have to worry about anything coming back at you. You can strike it, you can draw your gun and shoot, or one of the things I like to do is to simulate getting into a, a grappling contest with someone and finally actually besting the guy by, by pushing his head back. All you have to do is step on the base to stabilize the target, otherwise he just goes over. But basically it's, it's up close, step on the base, and you can shoot right here and not worry about anything coming back at you except paint flex. So this is one way to use these targets. Another great way to use these targets is like this. As a lefty, the hardest shot for me is, is this angle. So meaning when I pull the trigger, because the index finger and the thumb are very hard to isolate from one another, you're better off um, doing your training from this side so that if you do push on that on that trigger and the muzzle um, flips over to the right it trains you to learn how to really pay attention to your trigger press trigger pull whatever to make sure you've got your shot going past your hostage so that you're not accidentally popping him basically what this drill is i come up and i acquire my bad guy at an angle behind my good guy and i have to practice getting a nice clean shot on him now you'll notice i'm not very far from this guy the reality of it is, gunfighting occurs inside of about this distance. If he were to stick his arm out and we touch fingertips, it's the distance of fingertips of arms extended. You have a range buddy with you, you have him either call left or right, and you just pick a direction. So we're going to start right. So we go to right, draw the pistol, and I've got a, um, the first target that I end up sort of looking at is the one that's slightly to the left of this target. So I bring my pistol up. Try to acquire my shot. Drop him, transition. Not a lot of rounds because that is the reality of a gunfight. Gunfights are very fast. You're not gonna have a chance to fire that many rounds before that fight is over with. The rubber dummies are really great because it allows me to grade trigger manipulation. Actually, here's a good example. I was doing this a while back and I miscalculated and I zipped one right past the rubber dummy's shoulder. You guys are gonna start seeing these rubber dummies as a regular thing because they are just so useful. Um, they are capable of sucking up rifle, pistol, shotgun, thousands of rounds. The construction of them is very hardy. They have an extra plate here in the neck that helps stabilize this section here. The head is hollowed out for weight savings and um, they're really easy to move. They just come right off of their stand. The stand comes apart in three pieces and you can transport it that way. So anyways, um, like I said, you guys are gonna start seeing these dummies a lot more often in my videos because they are truly the best way to train up close without damaging the target or damaging yourself. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.